how many times am I gonna say period in this video? It's scared. The chemicals that go into making pure products could be harming you just as much as they're harming the environment. Hey guys, what is up? It's Amy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be one about sustainability. Specifically, we're going to be talking about periods and how you can be more sustainable during a period and the different methods that are available to you and this video is actually in partnership with a brand that makes reusable pads which i personally use so to start the video i wanted to talk about different stats relating to kind of single use period products and why they're so unsustainable like when i was doing research for this video a lot of these really shocked me because it's really big numbers a lot of people kind of do like reusable straws reusable water bottles but i think getting into reusable period products is amazing considering how many people use single use period pro how many how many times am i going to say period in this video a lot the first one is that the average woman will use 11,000 pads in their lifetime which is a huge number just like think about that it's a lot so the second thing related to period products and why they're so unsustainable is the fact that they're made of a lot of plastic i forget the number but i will put it on the screen you have to keep in mind that plastic is basically just oil and we kind of know how um unsustainable oil is and how it harms the environment but it also harms you because oftentimes it's not just made with plastics but a lot of other different chemicals and you're literally putting that inside of you if you're using a tampon so just think about how this could be not just impacting the earth but it could also be impacting you so the next tat is that in the u.s um there are five billion pads and seven million tampons that are used every year once again really big numbers and this is just in one country this wasn't for the entire world so just think about how much bigger this number is going to be if it was worldwide and you can just see how these things are piling up in the landfills and then the other thing that it that kind of makes um, single-use period products so unsustainable is that a lot of like effort resources and power goes into making them you use them once and then you throw it away whereas if you do use something reusable yes you can use more materials in the making of it but these things last for so much longer that in the long run you definitely save on energy and also you save on space and landfills because you're not throwing these things away constantly okay so now this is the part of the video where I talk about basically the three main um, sustainable period products that are kind of available to you and then I will have you guys kind of decide which one you think works for you because it definitely depends on like whether you currently use pads or tampons your age kind of like which one you can afford more because there is different price points and then also just like your lifestyle and what you want out of a period product so I'm just going to go through the three main ones and then you can decide for yourself which one you prefer and which one will work better for you so the first product that I'm going to share with you guys is the one that I personally use and the reason being I could never get into tampons you guys it scared me um I tried using a tampon once and I just couldn't do it so I decided instead to just stick to pads so when this company reached out to me to try their reusable pads I was like super excited because I'd always wanted to switch to more sustainable period products but when they reached out to me to try their um reusable pads i was like kind of excited to try it out and not gonna lie i was also kind of like how sanitary is it isn't that a little disgusting it's really not that bad and i mean you wash it you don't just use it forever it's not that gross like as long as you wash it before using it again these are the pads this is what they look like they're pretty just like minimal gray and black and these work literally so well i don't have very heavy flow so that might be um, why they work well for me because I really only use like three of these per day and the pack that they sent me came with six so I basically use these for three days and then I still have a pack of pads that I'm trying to run through so I will kind of like use these until I run out of them and then I'll switch to the single-use pads once I've used up all of those pads then I will for sure buy another pack of these so I can like use these through my whole period and my periods usually last around like four to five days just like a quick tutorial on how to use them it's kind of self-explanatory so basically what you do is it comes with like little clasps so I have a piece of paper here that I'm going to demonstrate how to put this on because I don't want to use actual underwear so basically if this was like my underwear you just stick it on your underwear and on the back there's like a little clasp and you just pop it and it works just like that it's literally self-explanatory it's really easy and i've never had a problem with this leak leaking um i know usually when i use regular pads i always have to worry about that because sometimes like the stickiness will like move around and stuff like that 
but these literally like you just clasp it and it doesn't move around at all and the absorbency on this is absolutely amazing this black fabric that you see right here is basically waterproof and then this like front layer on here is like super soft so you, it's honestly so comfortable and regular pads will like stick to my leg and can be super uncomfortable but once again i don't have a problem with these hey guys this is a couple hours later i'm sorry if the lighting is different aka worse quality because it's now like four o'clock also have my dinner here i made some pad thai and it's really delicious um i would hate to turn this into a mukbang because i absolutely hate them i'm also very hungry okay so as i was saying but usually what i'll do after i use one of them it comes with this carrying case if you're just out and about i keep all of the used ones in here the inside of it is like waterproof so it won't leak out of here and you can't even smell it when it's like in here and closed up so it kind of keeps it together basically what you do is you unclasp it and then you fold it down like that and then fold the bottom up like this and then you fold it so and then it makes like a little square type situation and this is basically it's all like contained together and that kind of does a lot to like keep it so it doesn't like go anywhere and then you put it in your bag lock it up and boom you're done so on days when i'm kind of out and about when i'm not home at all i will usually just have this bag with me and also keep extra ones in my backpack um i have this i don't have it right now with me to show you guys but i have a little like traveling case of like deodorant like um low mini toothbrush and toothpaste just basically little toiletries in case i'm like having a rushed morning and i kind of want to get ready out and about or if i just like need to use something real quick so i'll put my pa extra pads in there and then if i use it i'll just put it in here once again so it's all kind of separate and you're not like mixing like used and unused because that would be a little gross um try out reusable pads if you're not in the business of tampons or menstrual cups so price point for these i believe these retail on amazon a pack of six for like $28 don't quote me on that I have the actual price on the screen um obviously if you compare it to like regular pads that aren't reusable it might be a little bit more but if you think about it you will use these for I forget the year for how long these last but these last way longer than like regular um, disposable pads. So I feel like you definitely get your money's worth out of these. And once again, it's way better for the environment and you're kind of saving on like the landfill space. So definitely check these out. I have the link down below where you can buy these specific pads because I definitely recommend them. I think it's a great investment, especially if you're trying to be more sustainable in 2020. I need to stop flipping like letting my hair fly around so in case you kind of aren't inclined to do reusable pads i know it's not for everyone i wanted to have more resources in this video for different options the second one is probably like the most popular like sustainable period product and it is a menstrual cup if you've never heard about it it's basically a little like i'll have a picture on the screen rather than me trying to like make it <laughs> with my hands but basically you take that you insert it and it kind of catches all the blood the great thing about menstrual cups is that they last a long time so if you're someone who's like super busy and on the go and you don't want to be like changing pads in the middle of the day you should probably consider menstrual cups because they last basically for like up to 10 to, i think it, i believe it's like 10 to 12 hours so i was watching a lavender video where she was talking about menstrual cups and basically she just um changes it in the morning and then um she changes it in the morning and then right before bed, so just two times a day. So if you're super busy, that might be a better option for you. But basically, they just catch the blood and then when you're done using it, you just kind of rinse it out and reuse it, obviously. Menstrual cups are made of silicone, so they're a much better material for you than like um, regular tampons, which can be, have like harmful plastics or like chemicals in them that could actually hurt you. So it's also, once again, a lot better for your health and for the health environment because they last for a long time and you can kind of use them over and over and over again until they kind of like have run their course. And the final kind of, um, period product that i'm going to share with you guys if the first two aren't your thing is period underwear and this is something that i have never tried before it's basically regular underwear but they put reusable pads in it <laughs> 
basically that's kind of how I see it you just kind of wear it and it catches all the blood and it's not supposed to leak I've never tried it before but from like the videos and like articles that I read up on it um it looks like it for the most part works especially if you have a light flow this is something that could work for you you don't have a lot of blood to begin with or it would be great to use on the days of your period where you aren't like bleeding a lot so like using like menstrual cups or like um regular pads would just be like a hassle that you don't want to go through so definitely consider period underwear if that's your thing i would recommend if you have if you kind of like invest in period underwear consider purchasing like a bag this came with my reusable pads but i don't think period underwear comes with these so consider buying one of these so that when you're if you like change out your underwear in the middle of the day you can like put it in here because i um, i don't think you are able to wear period underwear for like a long um period of time so definitely consider buying one of those if you do decide to invest in period underwear and the price point for period underwear is usually around $30 a pair so it is a bit more of an investment because you have to like consider like how many days of your period you're going to be wearing this underwear and especially if you're going to be changing it throughout the day so I feel like period underwear is definitely more um on the more expensive side of things but I feel like it is the easiest option um like minus like having to like change the underwear it's really not that much of a hassle of just like putting it on and then putting your pants on and going so especially if you have light flows definitely look into that so that was it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i just want to keep make sure you keep in mind that when it comes to sis <laughs> When it comes to sustainability, it's all about what you can do and the changes that you can make. So obviously, if you can't afford to invest in these products, don't feel bad about it. it. Literally, not all of us need to be perfectly sustainable for all of us as a collective to be sustainable. I think we all just need to try our best. So if you're able to try these products and to kind of invest in them, definitely try to. It's really not that hard once you get into it. Click the link below so you can go check out these reusable pads. I think they were great and I definitely think you guys should try them out. But that was it for today's video. If you liked it, of course like this and then subscribe to my channel to help me reach my goal. It's a new year and I'm trying to revamp my channel and to really um, hone in on sustainability, thrifting, and sustainable fashion. So definitely subscribe so you can kind of be on my journey of that kind of path. I will also have all my social media down below so you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. I don't post that much on Twitter and Facebook, but you can still follow me because maybe in the future I'll kind of switch it up and do more Facebook and Twitter things, but for now, I don't post that much. But that was it for today's video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.